you can see, the weather sucks today. God, look at this place. The subway station is like a maze. Um, this is the way out. Right, it's like a catacombs, these pathways. Oh, it's like a cave. So this is how you know the station is old. It's uh, an actual uh, ticket booth. They phased these out in Korea a long time ago, maybe 10 years ago. They're still quite common in Japan, but uh, you don't see them anywhere in Korea. All the uh, ticket purchasing has been replaced by machines. And can someone even go in this office? Nah, no way. So yeah, you just use a machine. So if you can see, there are two uh, platforms for two different train lines. One above and one below. And if I had to guess, the uh, one above is older. So this is the thing about Korea. What I notice is they're always uh, building, always developing. There's always construction everywhere. Uh, Korea is always growing. The weather today is just a little chilly. It's about 9 degrees uh, Celsius. It's winter now, but on previous days, it would be like 0 degrees or negative 5, negative 10 degrees. So I'm just wearing a coat too. I'm not wearing a down jacket. But as you can see, the air is not really that great today. But it creates like strange but beautiful atmospheric perspective so I've seen these in uh, quite a few parks in Korea uh, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take off your shoes and it's I don't know supposed to give you some kind of healing to your feet <laughs> uh, looks like torture to me spring or summer there's gonna be tons of flowers here blooming but now you just got this barren wasteland <laughs> and over here you got a um, looks like a sports stadium so it's called uh, Gochok Sky Dome and it's for a Korean KBO which is Korean baseball organization. It's for KBO baseball team. And it opened in 2015. So it's relatively new. But uh, you can see some weathering on the metal. 
which makes it look kind of uh, not so great. So over there, I don't know if you can make out the words. It seems to be an abandoned Lotte Mart, which is a famous department store chain in Korea. I wonder if it's possible to go inside. But pretty wild, this is the giant empty building there in the middle of a uh, pretty busy part of the city. Among these apartments is a um, typical Korean commercial building. Uh, they're actually kind of ugly. <laughs> Uh, but very functional uh, the purpose is just to pack as many businesses and schools and restaurants as they can in a building but yeah they always have this kind of ugly look but at nighttime all these signs uh, they're glowing so it looks kind of cool it's crazy when I first came to Korea I couldn't understand what you know any of these meant but now everything I understand all these businesses pretty amazing anyway shall we go in no way there's a mom's touch here I think I'm gonna eat this This is the other side of the walkway and yeah, it feels much more urban now. Urban with uh, apartments. So the thing with these buildings is uh, you can just walk inside them freely at any time of the day. And often there's some bathroom, there's a few bathrooms here available so you always have access to a bathroom in Korea so yeah they always look like this with you know these marble walls and kind of uh, old looking old looking everything floors walls ceilings like it's clean always clean but old and here's that bathroom I was talking about and I'll make a quick run for it. Anyways, I think it's time to eat now. So this is it, Mom's Touch. It's pretty uh, awesome fast food chain in Korea. Definitely, if you are, uh, if you ever come here, you definitely gotta try Mom's Touch once. Take a look at this. Now this is flavor country. It's like a real piece of chicken in a burger form. First time I tried this drink, it's like some kind of strawberry drink, and it literally tastes like jello. Yeah, seriously, I mean the uh, consistency is like liquid, but the taste is like jello. Yeah, that's fantastic. And the price is not here. And this whole meal is like under six bucks. So pretty fantastic. Anyways, that was quite good. Let's head back home.
Thanks for watching this episode. Please subscribe for more videos about life in Korea. See you next time on JK Travels.